Now, James, this is fascinating yeah. to me because he's a six, seven year vet. He already been a part of the architecture <laughs> of the offense, right? As your quarterback, you have a bunch of say so in meetings. You have say in play and how they want to run the plays and yeah. what plays are called. Yeah. Offensive coordinators go up to the quarterback on Thursday <laughs> or Friday practice and say, hey, what you like? Yeah. And that's what we gonna run with our yeah. first 15, if you will. So I don't know where I stand on this, but I'm excited to hear your answer. You expect Lamar's involvement to get the Ravens over that hump. Well, this means nothing. Oh. This, this, this means absolutely nothing. The offensive coordinator is going to call the plays. Todd Munkin, that's his name? Yep. He is going to call the plays. Will Lamar be like, hey, man, these are some of my favorites? Sure. This offense is not going to change. So are we expecting, oh, Lamar going to have some input, this offense is going to change? <clears throat> no. This offense is going to look the same way it did last year. They ran the ball the most out of anybody in the regular season. We wanted them to run it in the postseason. They might run it a little bit more in the postseason. But playing with Aaron Rodgers, Mike McCarthy was going to call his offense. Now Aaron Rodgers would come in there and say, hey, man, y'all get in here, receivers. These are the five plays I like. Y'all give me five of the plays that you guys are really comfortable with. Mm. Not no different crazy plays, just on Mike's radar to, hey, man, we really like these plays. You may like some other ones. We are really comfortable with these plays. Let's run these. But seeing an offense change just because you think he's going to have no input, no, it is not going to be like that. It will be some things, hey, coach, man, I'm really comfortable running these pass plays. Sure, let's get, let's get to those a little bit more. But him just putting his stamp on it and being able to design plays and all that, none of that is happening. So as a Baltimore fan, if you think that's happening, you're going to see the same offense. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, where do you stand? You think this gets them over the hump? Uh, no, because I, I, I agree with everything James just said. I don't think that Lamar Jackson is designing the offensive philosophy. I don't think that anything is going to dramatically change as far as their style of play. I think he's always had input on it. And because he is such a unique and dynamic player, you really don't have a choice but to have him involved in the architecture of the offense because every quarterback don't look like that. Every quarterback doesn't do what Lamar Jackson does. And now you've added a dynamic runner to the to the dynamic that is that is going to change things slightly, but he's not going to run a completely new offense. So whatever they did last year without the additions that they have was good enough to get them to the AFC championship game. Mm -hmm. I don't think much is going to look different. I think he's a great player, obviously a two-time MVP. I'm excited to see what the offense looks like this year with the addition of Derrick Henry, but I don't expect anything to be dramatically different. Should we be excited, Shady, or is it going to be more of the same? I mean, we should be excited. I don't know if they get over the hump. I mean, that team they had last year was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Best team defense on, that you could ask for, right? You got some, some wide receivers, finally, and then new office coordinator that's using your ability to throw the ball as, as well as run it. I, I don't think it gets any better. But I do love the fact that they're giving him the option to help out, right, to, to make a player comfortable. The, the most important player on a football team is the quarterback. Yes, sir. You make him comfortable, that's, that's all the, the, the right ways to win. That takes me back to Tampa when you were talking about Aaron Rodgers and, uh, up and down 2020 winning championship with, with uh, Tom Brady and the Bucks. It was up and down with the offense. Guys are injured, you know, up and down, trying to find a new offense. He's been somewhere for 20 years with the Patriots, comes to a new team, so it's a new offense for him. Mm -hmm. But when we start really clicking at the bye week is when Brian Leftwich, the office coordinator, and Bruce Arians, the head coach, and Tom Brady, they, they got together, right? Because it was a lot of that, hey, it's my offense type of thing. And Tommy's more laid back or whatever, you're the coach. But when they got together and said, listen, these are the plays I want to run. This is the style I want to play at. Can we mix up what you do special as Tom Brady, and then as the coach, Bruce Arians, and Brian Leftwich, let's do it together. Yeah. And that's when we started clicking. So I do think it will help the Ravens offense, giving you what Lamar Jackson likes and loves. Look at Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Andy Reid, the way he coaches is different from how Patrick Mahomes came into the league mm -hmm. from Texas Tech, right? Wow, loose cannon, right? Uh, uh, what they call them dudes, that, uh, gun, gun slingers. He's that. Andy don't really like all that. But what he did was he took some of that stuff from Texas Tech that made him special, yeah. Mix it up with the West Coast offense and Andy Reid, what he likes to do. And that's what made these offenses so special. So I think it will help out the Ravens offense and you and the King, yeah. Derrick Henry, who's going to run that ball at a, at a high level. But they're not, they not going to yeah. beat the Chiefs. And I, I think the main thing, too, is listen. Right? Because all this sound pretty. Your coach sound getting great. up there. Sounds Lamar going to be involved. Come on, what, you, what you think, Lamar? Listen, that sound cause, good. Because I remember with Coach Mike, we used to be out there at practice. We would run a 1,000 plays at practice. And run two of them in, in the, the game. game. Talk and about like, it. like, Coach, why Talk are we out here running it. all these plays? Like, running all these plays for no Aaron reason. Aaron will be like, come to the huddle. It's third and five. I know the call. You already know I'm, what I'm it staying is. out here. It's Denver. I got, I got a slant the DB no two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, are you going to listen? Because a lot of these coaches is stubborn. Yep. My offense works. I'm going to run my That's plays. True. That's true. I don't even know, James. So I, don't know, I don't know that they're stubborn. I think we're all creatures of habit. 
We all do the same things on our, on our, on our show. Joy could literally probably give a take as if she were me if she had to. And I could do the yeah, same thing. You know thing I can do you. <laughs> you know I can do you. You want to? Welcome, Mr. Let me start. Let me start. Let me start. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just creatures that have it. Shay, you want to take it to break? Now, no, no, real quick. <laughs> a thousand r r routes? Bro, we practice? would run a thousand. See, that's players. why they could never win in the postseason because they was tired. Well, oh, it makes sense. I wanted to postseason. Oh, it makes sense. OK, so now it's not Aaron Rodgers. OK, I got it. Now I got it. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.